we want to solve the given system of equations. To solve the system of equations means to determine the ordered pairs in the form of x comma y that satisfy both equations. We are given y equals three x plus two and y equals negative x squared plus two. Because both equations are solved for y, we will solve this system using the method of substitution where because y is equal to three x plus two, we can substitute three x plus two for y in the second equation. By doing this, we will then have an equation in one variable that we can then solve for x. But then we'll have to come back and determine the corresponding y values. Remember, each solution is an ordered pair in the form of x comma y. So performing the substitution, we have the equation three x plus two equals negative x squared plus two. Notice how we have a degree two equation or a quadratic equation. So let's set the equation equal to zero and see if we can solve by factoring. We normally prefer to have the x squared term be positive and therefore we will set the right side equal to zero by adding x squared to both sides as well as subtracting two. And now simplifying on the left, we have x squared plus three x, and then two minus two is zero. So on the left we have x squared plus three x equals on the right side, negative x squared plus x squared is zero, and two minus two is zero, which is the reason why we added x squared to both sides, as well as subtracted two on both sides. So the right side is now equal to zero, and now let's factor the left side. Remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of x squared plus three x is x, if we factor out x, we're left with the quantity x plus three. So now we have x times the quantity x plus three equals zero. The product on the left is equal to zero when x equals zero, or the factor of x plus three is equal to zero. So one solution to the equation is x equals zero, and now if we solve this equation for x, we subtract three on both sides, and we have x equals negative three. But we're not done, remember, a solution consists of an x and a y value, or an ordered pair in the form of x comma y. So we found two possible x values. We now have to find the corresponding y values. So our solutions are going to be two ordered pairs, where one ordered pair, the x value is negative three, and for the second ordered pair, the x value is zero. So now we need to use one of the original equations to determine the corresponding y values. Let's go ahead and use a linear equation, y equals three x plus two. So when x is equal to negative three, y must be equal to three times negative three plus two. Three times negative three is negative nine, negative nine plus two is negative seven. So one solution is the ordered pair, negative three comma negative seven. And now we need to determine the corresponding y value when x is zero. So when x is zero, we have y equals three times zero plus two, which is equal to zero plus two, which is two. So another solution is the ordered pair zero comma two. Again, remember each ordered pair is in the form of x comma y. So the system of equations has two solutions. And let's verify this graphically. To verify it graphically, we graph both equations on the coordinate plane, and these two ordered pairs should represent the points of intersection. So in blue we have the graph of y equals three x plus two. In red we have the graph of y equals negative x squared plus two. Notice how we have two points of intersection where one ordered pair is negative three comma negative seven, and the other ordered pair is zero comma two, which verifies our solutions are correct. I hope you found this helpful.